really create miracles? Can you really achieve the life of your dreams? Can you really become a millionaire or a billionaire? Can you, can you really travel the world? Can you really hand in your resignation and quit your job and, and do what you love? Can you create miracles in your life? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And all with this book, The Miracle Equation. The Miracle Equation just changed my life and not just my life, but so many lives. It is really possible to become what Hal Erod calls a miracle maven. A miracle maven is someone who's living his or her life to its full potential. That's a miracle maven, right? And so, yes, you can do that too, if you're willing to make two decisions. And I just want to walk you through these two decisions because it is, this book, I just, I just, I read it through and again and again and again, and I go back and forth and pick up more things. And, and I just, I want to take the, the biggest lesson from this and the two decisions you need to make so that you can apply it in your life today. Okay, I really, I, I just, I'm so in love with this book and every time I pick it up, I'm like, wait a minute, I should really make a video of this because this is so, so incredible and I use it for myself every day and I use it with my clients and it's just, it is, it is possible to create your dream life, right? So how can you become a miracle maven making two very simple decisions? And once you know these two decisions, no goal is impossible for you. No goal is going to be impossible for you because you're going to know how to create it using those two decisions. And if you're like, yeah, sure, I, 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 I'm not quite sure what goal I have. I've been there myself because when I was still stuck in my corporate world, then I'm like, I know if I have a goal, a clear goal, I can take steps to achieve it, but I wasn't clear on what my goal was. I wasn't clear on what my purpose was. And so that's why I created this video with seven steps to get unstuck, because you need to kind of get unstuck first and create that clarity of your goal. And then you can say, now I'm gonna make these two decisions and I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna achieve that goal. I'm gonna achieve my dream life, right? And so when I was still in the job, I figured it out and it, 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 you know, I did the steps to figure it out. And then I knew, yes, I want to travel the world. I want freedom. I was so clear on my purpose. Like I want that freedom. I don't want to work for a boss anymore. I don't want to ask permission to, to buy a pencil. I don't want that. I want freedom to do what I want and, and do what I love and, and be location independent. That for me was freedom. And so that was my big goal. And then I could apply these two decisions of the miracle equation to achieve that. And so today I am traveling the world and I am doing what I love. And so all because of this, but you have to be clear on your goal first, right? And having that clear goal is just, yeah, that, that is the key to begin. So go and check out that training or talk to me. I'll put all the links below this video, but let's dive right into these two simple decisions to achieve your dream, to achieve your goal. The first one, the first one is have unwavering faith. That's it. Have unwavering faith to achieve your goal. And the second one is put in extraordinary effort to achieve your goal. I'm going to explain these. Okay. So, but these are the two simple decisions that you have to make. I say simple because they're simple, but how do you really apply it? Right? So the first one have unwavering faith. And the second one is put in extraordinary effort. So let's go into the first one. Have unwavering faith that you can achieve your goal. And here it is. Faith. What does that faith mean? Faith is a belief. Faith is confidence that you will achieve it. Believe that you can do it. And here's the, the thing. It is so unnatural because the majority of the people, and we're actually conditioned that way, is like, but I can't. But I don't believe it. But... I'm only going to believe it when I see it and it's not there yet. I want to quit my job, but it's not happening yet. I want to travel the world, but it's not happening yet. I want to earn $10,000 a month, but it's not there yet. As long as I don't see it, I don't believe it. And there's a lack of evidence and I need proof. And when I need proof, then I'm going to believe it. When I wanted to start my business online, I'm like, but I'm not earning money yet. So as long as I'm not earning money, I'm not seeing the results. I'm not believing it. And that's where I got stuck. And that's where most people get stuck because of the self-doubt. And that self-doubt and that fear takes over the faith. And as soon as you lose faith, there goes your dream. 
So when I learned this, this principle and these two decisions, and I'm like, wait a minute, I am, I have unwavering faith that I will achieve my dream. I don't see it yet. I wasn't traveling yet. I was, I was still in my job. So I didn't see the result of ha handing in my, my resignation and quitting. I, was, I wasn't seeing it yet. It's not tangible yet, but I kept faith. I'm like, no, I know my goal. I'm having unwavering faith to achieve it and I can do it. So instead of I can't, start believing, yes, I can. And it's very contradictory to our human nature because our human nature is like, but I can't, but and, and, and it's too scary and it's unknown and it's not visible. And well, here's the saying that you might want to remember, lack of evidence is not evidence of lack. It's not because you can't see it yet that it cannot happen yet. And that's a simple truth that I really had to learn and understand. And the moment you start understanding, like, you don't need to see the evidence. You have to create the evidence, but it's not there yet. So that's why it's so contradictory. Like, and that's why so many people give up, like, but I'm not seeing it. So, and the moment you start doubting, boom, you lose faith. And that's the thing. You have to be persistent in that faith. And like, even if you don't see it, if, you, if, if there are obstacles and struggles and challenges and people contradicting you, like, no, I have faith, I have faith, I believe in myself, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. So that's the decision number one, to have unwavering faith. And I'll tell you in a moment how you can actually start doing that. And the decision number two is put in extraordinary effort. What does that mean? Does that mean like, oh, you have to work hard and work hard and work hard? No, it means you have to have consistency of taking action, right? So these can be micro steps, but you have to be consistently taking action towards your goal. So you want to lose weight, you have to keep faith that you will lose those 10 pounds or whatever it is, and then you have to take action to you know, adjust your diet and every day, you know, make sure you, you eat healthy and you drink enough water and you stick to your diet and just that consistent action. So you have faith that you can do it and you take consistent action. I wanted to start my business online. I wanted to grow my YouTube channel. And in the beginning, it's just so slow and you study and, and so many people are like, oh, but there are millions of videos out there, Rachel. Why would you do it? You know, and all these challenges and obstacles and negativity and comments. And it's like, no, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. And then put in the effort. I studied even more. I looked at other YouTubers. I, you know, I created the videos with my online business. Same thing. You keep at it. You keep at it. You keep at it. You know, I keep posting, keep growing on social media, I keep growing on YouTube. You know, everything that you want to do when I was writing my best selling books, like, you know, you have to write a chapter every day and, you know, just keep writing or even a paragraph every day. But the consistent effort. So unwavering faith and consistent effort, both very contradictory to our human nature. Because when you put in the effort and you don't see immediate results, that's when most people stop. It's like, I don't see the immediate result. Why are people staying in their jobs? Because they get every single month, they get their nice secure paycheck. So it's like, well, I prefer the secure paycheck every single month instead of putting in the effort to achieving a dream that you want, right? So, and so we always look for the instant gratification, the instant feel good moments, yeah? the, the paycheck, the quick this, the quick that, but it's the long-term consistent effort that will get you to your dream. So how can you start today applying the miracle equation? Well, here's the thing. Start by changing your thoughts. Start by choosing to change your thoughts. Start by Instead of choosing the safe zone, start by changing your brain and you rewiring your brain. And how can you do that? By every single morning, writing out the affirmation that is in the book, and I will read it to you. When you write down this affirmation and you read it out loud every single day, that's how you start reprogramming your thoughts and reprogramming your, your brain, rewiring your brain to achieve the goal and the dream that you want. Okay, so here you go. Write it down. Make sure to write it down. It's not going to have any effect if you don't. Write it down. I am committed to maintaining unwavering faith that I will blank fill in what your goal is. And I will continue putting forth extraordinary effort until I do, no matter what, there is no other option. Okay? I'm committed to maintaining unwavering faith that I will 
um, lose 10 kilos or 10 pounds, that I will earn 10,000k a month, that I will buy a house in Portugal, that I will have, um, I don't know, the relationship I love. You fill in what you want as a goal and I will continue to put in the extraordinary effort until I do, no matter what, there is no other option. So you continue consistently to put in the effort. There is no other option. And this, my dear friends, is how the Miracle Equation is so powerful, so effective. You can do it. I did it. So many people did it. I mean, seriously, any goal, any dream, everything is possible for you. You have to start rewiring that brain. You have to believe in yourself, have faith, and put in the effort. These two steps, these two decisions, bam, you nail it. So write down below, what is that dream goal that you have? Because start writing it down. Really start writing down. I, my dream goal is, and I wanna know, I wanna know if you need help, you know, to plan your escape, to really brainstorm this, let me know. I'll put the link right below um, this video so we can have a chat about that. But seriously, this book, I'll put the link below as well. Amazing. Go get your dream life right now.